In this tutorial, I will show you how formulas and functions refer to cells within an Excel table. Here you can see that we have a simple Excel table that shows a list of employees and a list of each representative's sales for 2011 and 2012. The first thing that I'm going to show you is how simple it is to add a total row, which will greatly simplify using formulas and functions in Excel tables. Step 1. Select any cell within the table, and the table tools should appear providing you with a new tab in the ribbon that is labeled Design. Step 2. Click on Design. Step 3. Locate the Table Style Options group and check the Total Row box. Now on the very bottom row of the table, a total row will appear with the value showing the sum of the very last column in the table. 6,904,000 in our case. Step 4. Select a cell within the total row and you will notice that a box with a downward arrow appears to the right. Click on the downward arrow and you will see a list of common summary functions that are capable of using a range of cells as a function argument. Now that you have your total row, you can use functions without having to manually insert them. Excel simply does all the work for you. If you don't see the function, you then need to click on the More Functions option and the Insert Function dialog box will appear. Here you can search for the function you need. When you select your function, the Function Arguments dialog box will appear. If your function is capable of using a range of cells as an argument, then it will automatically be inserted in the Function Arguments dialog box. However, if you use a function that cannot use a range of cells as an argument, then you will need to specify your argument as we did in previous tutorials. Function arguments in the total row of an Excel table. Take a look in the formula bar when the total row for 2012 sales is selected. The formula shown in the formula bar is equals subtotal and then in parentheses 109 comma 2012 sales which are in brackets. In the subtotal function the first argument number 109 is a numeric representative of sum and the second argument 2012 sales represents the 2012 sales column in our table which is all the values within the 2012 sales column of our table.